Hi, this is Chanel from Mom's Take, and I am going to show you how to make a photo collage using Picasa. So you would first go to uh, download Picasa, and once you have it on your computer, you can first import your pictures. And what I like to do is I go here in the file section and I say to add folder to Picasa. And while I'm in here, I choose only the folders that I want to have always refreshing and showing up in my in my Picasso when I load it load it up so that I don't have all these random miscellaneous pictures that I won't be actually using. Since I use this for blogging, that means I always keep my desktop in there and I have a folder on top of my desktop for all my blog related pictures that I use for different brand promotions and posts I might be working on. So you can easily do that by like if you don't want any of your pictures in my documents which might have random files from programs that you use you can come here and say to remove it from Picasa and likewise you can come to one like my files folder that I have and I can tell Picasa to always scan it or to scan it once for example. Once you have the folders that you want you can just say OK here and then now you'll see that these are all the folders over here that I have um, allowed access to Picasa to load them into the program. Um, this is a lot less folders. It may look like a lot still, but it's a lot less folders than it would have been had I allowed all of my folders. For example, I don't use any of my personal family picture folders in Picasa just because I don't use them in Picasa for what I do for my blogging purposes. Um, I did load up these particular family fold, uh, pictures to show you for this tutorial. Okay, so once um, you're in here and you got your pictures that you want, you'll just go to the folder you want. I'm going to go here to my folder titled September 2012 and take these pictures, family pictures that we got, and I am going to show you how to make a collage with these pictures. So you can click on any individual picture and Picasso will bring it up. You can scroll through them by this top menu bar up here. If you find a picture that you really love and want to use, then, and you may need to crop it and stuff, but you'll just click on these. So let's say I'm going to take this one here of my son, grab one of my second son, and let's do this one of my third born, and maybe we'll do... Once you've got the, a couple of pictures that you'd like, you're not set on using only these, but it's a good way to start with a couple of pictures you know you might like to include. You can click this button right here. It says create a photo collage. And it'll bring you to this screen to actually make your collage. So the first thing you can look at is this drop down menu here, and there's a couple of different options for ways you might like to make a collage. The first is a, well, not the first, but one of them is a grid. And a grid will use a set number of pictures and make them all equal portions. So you can't use every t number of pictures in this. You couldn't use five pictures, for example, because you can't make an even number of spacing with five. You could use uh, two, three, four, or six, but otherwise you can't use the five. If I were to remove one of these and take it to three, you can see how a three picture orientation might appear. There's also mosaic, which is the one I use most frequently. And you can adjust the layout of the mosaic um, to your very particular needs. But Picasso does a pretty good job. And if it's not doing a configuration that you like, there's a lot of ways to kind of manipulate it to make it the shape and the orientation you'd like. So if I wanted a more equal portion, maybe I wanted the line of the collage to be more like here, and bigger pictures of my sons over here. I can edit the pictures themselves to focus on what I want the collage to show and it will change the proportions. So I'm going to go over and just click on the picture I want to edit. I'm going to click on my second son here and it will bring up the picture and I'm going to use their crop tool. I'll just select the crop tool there and you can drag this around however big you'd like it to be. And once you've uh, got the shape you would like, you can say apply. And then you can just click back to the tab of the collage up here at the top. Now when I hit to shuffle the pictures, it's going to change around the shaping of it some because now my picture shapes are a bit different. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that to three pictures, maybe just resize them a little bit to the important matter that I want to include in my collage. Go back to the collage. We'll crop this one. Maybe like that. Okay. And we'll shuffle the pictures again, show you how that might change it up a little bit. If you want to add more pictures at any time, you can go, do so by clicking here on the Clips tab. And this will show you all the pictures in the file for which the pictures you were using. So this is showing me all the pictures that I had under my September 2012 uh, file or folder. I'm going to add in one more of my third son. And we'll crop him too. And then when we go back to the collage, we can shuffle the pictures again and see how the arrangement might look. Okay. Um, if you need other pictures that are not inside the folder, you can click the Get More button and it will bring you back to here where you can choose a different folder. Maybe I'll go to the Design File and I can click some of these. And then I could just say down here at the very bottom, Back to Collage. And that's going to bring it over here into my list of options to choose from and I could drag it over if I wanted to use that picture. All right, let's go back to the setting tab. And you can change the grid spacing, which I like to do. It gives a little bit of space between the pictures. I mean, you can make it as chunky as you wanted, which if you're using a white background or whatever color you may be using for your blog background or your website background, you could have it match by changing the color here to any color you might need. And then for me, I have a white background blog, so these pictures will actually look like they're on my page as four different pictures to a, to a degree if you have a chunky framing between them like this. It, it might look like I actually uploaded these four pictures, but in, in reality, I, just upload, I would just be uploading the one picture and be saving the space of having to upload four pictures and trying to get them to be spaced just right. Typically for my blog, I do smaller spacing more somewhere along about this thickness, but you can do based on your own preferences, and again, you can change the colors. There's also kind of an interesting one, which you may want to use sometime. You can use an image, so if you have a background image, you can see it put a picture behind here in all the lines instead. So you could use your background image actually as the background drop for your grid spacing as well. I'm going to go back to solid color. Uh, okay, so if you can still need to modify the layout of your pictures, you're just not quite liking this particular spacing, you can change the size, and a lot of times this will just make the difference that you need. Like an 8 by 10 is a little bit not so long and skinny, it's a little bit closer towards a square. And you can see, like, really quickly, this doesn't work very good for these particular pictures because of the shape, but I can also adjust the orientation to make it tall instead. And that looks pretty good. You can also put drop shadows on your pictures. If you have a chunkier border, that looks pretty cool too. Okay. Um, let me show you the one, well there's two other ones that you might use for blogging. Um, the frame mosaic. We'll put one main picture in the center and a bunch of little pictures around the edge. So let me just grab a bunch of pictures here and throw them in here. So you'll see it'll focus one main picture here and you'll have a bunch around the edge. And you can use these for um, maybe if you're doing a roundup picture and you wanted to include a bunch of different pictures that are pretty small. All right. I'm going to take some of these back out. All right, another option is a picture pile, which will just throw them all on top of your canvas. And this one's really fun because you can take it, you can drag them around, you can make them larger and smaller, and angle them different directions. And when you get them kind of the size you might like, you can pick them up and move them wherever you'd like. So I'll just play with this here for a second and show you what you might come up with. 
I'm going to take that picture out. I just hit delete on that, and that can is another way you can remove them. Take that one out. So maybe I'll do a collage of my boys here. I actually have four boys now, but this was uh, before my youngest was born. You saw me pregnant in one of the pictures. If you right click on a picture, you'll bring up settings such as bring the picture to the top, move it to the bottom, and change borders and rotations and things like that. So I'm going to bring this picture to the front because this picture behind it has a little bit of extra spacing there that doesn't need to be seen as much. Okay, so there's a sample of the, the picture pile option for making a collage. When you're finished and you have a collage that you like, you just click this button here to create a collage and it's going to be in progress here and it's going to load it until it's done making it. You can see the progress bar down here. Okay, um, and then once you're done with your picture you can add text. Maybe you want to add a disclosure here. Um, I'm sorry, a watermark here. You can add my website name. You can change the font colors and things like that, and you can even make them opaque and drag it around. Of course, you can play with fonts and all sorts of different things to make just how you like it. Go down here to my favorite font. Blackjack. And your font size. Um, for your fonts, you'll just apply that, and then if you want the font to show up on your actual collage, you'll have to go and save it. So you can go down here to the File menu and click to save it, or you can save it as, make a copy of it, whatever you might need to do. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now, all of your collages will be available if you're using a PC. They're under your File Explorer, under My Pictures. There's a folder called Picasa, and under there there's a folder called Collages, and they're all saved right there for you to upload and use as you need. I hope that's helpful to you, and good luck making your collages.